we actually record when we go and do our measurements. And there are two major categories of our data, or we can put up maybe data types. Okay, so the first one that we're going to talk about is numerical. And numerical data is really easy uh, to be able to, um, to identify. The reason is, is because just like the name suggests, it's going to be reported as numbers. But numerical has two subsets of data to it. So if you have numerical data, it can be considered discrete or it can be considered continuous. Okay, so let's give a couple of examples. So continuous data is data that could be a number found anywhere along a number scale. So things that could be continuous are things like weight. Uh, I could weigh, you know, 180 pounds, I could weigh 180.2, I could weigh 187.94. So it can be anywhere along the number scale. So let's go, we'll put like weight, that's a good one, time, is another good one, uh, like distance. All of those are good examples of continuous data. Discrete data, on the other hand, has to go with s specific steps and there has to be kind of like uh, gaps between where you can actually record. So discrete things, a lot of times you'll hear like number of is a good indicator that we're talking about discrete data. So we could talk about like, uh, number of siblings. That's a good one. Uh, we could also talk about like uh, number of free throws made. So in each of those ones, uh, we could respond that, you know, like I made four free throws. I could say that I've made five free throws. Uh, but saying that, you know, somebody in the NBA made 3.4 uh, free throws during the last game, that doesn't make sense. And that's because it is a discrete piece of data. So we'll keep working on these, uh, but those are kind of some of the basic definitions of our numerical types of data. Now, the other major type of data that we have is called categorical. Let's put that up here. And the easiest way to think about categorical data is to think about categories. So if it is responded, or if the response or what we are measuring is a like a name or a category, uh, then we know that we're dealing with categorical data. Now within categorical, there are two major groups as well. The first one uh, is nominal. Nominal, there it is. And the second one is ordinal. Okay, so I, for me, the easiest way to remember the difference between these two is to start off with ordinal, because the name gives us a clue. If we can think of the word order, this is that the categories have an order. And for nominal categories, have no order. Okay, so let's think of some examples so that we can have um, some help or some foundation of how to define these two. So let's look at ordinal first. There are some that are really easy to think of uh, for ordinal. So one, it would be like uh, the months of the year, like days of the week. Those are technically categories, right? They are names that we're going to be recording, but they have a specific order and they have, um, if we rearrange the order, we lose some of the information that can be gained. So like for ordinal, maybe we're thinking about the months, January, February, March, and keeping them in order helps tell some of that story. Uh, another one for ordinal that we use a lot is called a Likert scale. So I'm gonna put up uh, a, an example of that, we'll put it over here. So let's do a Likert. 
So a Likert scale uh, is sometimes there are things that we want to measure like on some sort of magnitude scale. So maybe we say that happy, so we have like, uh, sure, let's do happy. Happy, neutral, and we have sad. Right, this would be a Likert scale. It actually helps us when we keep it in this order. If there's some sort of kind of linear progression between these two, between happy and sad. So those are kind of some ordinal ideas where there is a fixed order that we need to keep those categories in. Nominal, on the other hand, has no such order. And there are lots of examples of that. So let's take about uh, like maybe cars, for example. We could put the car um, brand. So we could have, maybe we're measuring um, I don't know, sales on Craigslist or something, and we want to see what's the most frequently bought brand. And we could have Chevy and Ford and Chrysler and Dodge, and we could put those in some order. But it doesn't matter if we put Chevy in front or if we put Dodge first. It doesn't matter the order because there is no order uh, to these things. So, kind of in conclusion, there are two major types of data that we are going to be dealing with numerical data, which we can think of just as like numbers, and categorical, which we can think of as categories. Within the numerical, there are two major types. We have discrete, which is like number of siblings, number of free throws, there have to be steps taken. Continuous uh, variables are ones that can have any value within you know, a specific range. Uh, such as like weight or time, you know, we could, maybe we're uh, timing people at the Olympics and the time trial was, you know, swimming, maybe it was a 50 second, whatever distance it was, maybe it could be measured 50 seconds or 50.01 or 50.02 and that would be continuous data. Now with our categorical, once again, we have two types, we have nominal and ordinal. Ordinal is categories that have a set order to them, such as like a Likert scale. And nominal are categories that have no specific